Good morning, good day, uh, good afternoon, and I hope you are doing fine while you are listening to our today's lesson. Okay, so again, this is Lead 3 English, and today we are going to discuss about cause and effect. Okay, and I am your teacher, Teacher Carlo. Now, what to expect for today's lesson? Okay, for today's lesson, we are going, of course, to learn the cause and effect. Okay. One form of sentence development is by establishing cause and effect relationship. This sentence development helps in enhancing your language skills by determining the cause and the possible effect in a given statement. In this lesson, you are expected to identify the effects based on a given causes and vice versa. Okay. Um, yep. Uh, I mean, today we are going to learn cause and effect. Now, cause and effect of course, uh, it's one of the major or one of the best way to develop an idea or a sentence or uh, progressing a paragraph. Okay, uh, it shows the uh, the relationship of one thing to another. I mean, uh, from the cost and its possible effects. Okay, it can help uh, enhance your language skills no? by determining, of, of course, by if you are able to determine where is the cause and effect, it will uh, greatly enhance your language skills. Okay, so in today's lesson, you are expected to uh, identify the effects based on the given causes and vice versa, which means uh, you are go. You will be able to identify the cause based on the given effects. So, ano siya? Uh, yeah, vice versa. Now let us examine the picture below. Okay, here we can see a. Uh, a huge wave, no, big, big wave. And the, the tree, as you can see, is almost falling down. Then, uh, because there is, as you can see, there are thick clouds with heavy rains. No? What does the picture above show or portray? Now, what do you think, guys? What do you think are the possible effects of typhoon a lot of us had already experienced typhoon and by now we are very much aware of what are the effects of typhoon now uh, can you please uh, tell me at least uh, can you give me at least one effect of a uh, typhoon Learning task number one. In your notebook, copy the following sentences below. Then underline the cause and insert LD effect in each statement. Number one. It was raining hard, so I used my umbrella. Again, encircle the effect and underline the cause. Number two. Joy was so hungry because she did not eat her breakfast. Please underline the cause and encircle the effect. Number three, it was almost dark so bricks carried in order to arrive home in time. So 
list number four, the streets were flooded because of the rain. Number five, there is a huge wildfire causing uh, the wildlife to be homeless. Okay, number five, there is a huge wildfire causing the wildlife to be homeless. Again, the uh, direction is to underline the causes and uh, encircle the effect. Now, uh, to further explain the cause and effect, a uh, sentence may be developed using cause and effect relationship. This sentence development shows clear relationship between ideas showing the cause, why a certain thing happens, and an uh, effect of the identified cause. So, we have this following example. The cause is when a sick person sneezes, the effect would be he or she blows the viruses or the virus in the air. Uh, second sentence would be uh, effect. No? Cloud, cloud, I mean, cloud miss his flight. The cause is because he did not arrive on time. Okay. Uh, now, uh, putting emphasis to this, uh, the cause simply means the reason. No? Okay, this is the reason, right? Cause is the reason, while the effect is the outcome or uh, this is the possible thing that could happen next okay this is the possible uh, idea that could happen next because of the uh, reason or the cause no? now uh, when a sick person sneezes, so this is again, this is the cause, and this would happen next. No? He or she blows the virus into the air. And so why does there is uh, why there is virus in the air? Because a sick person sneezes. No? So it could be reversible. Again, this idea, this idea, the cause is related to the effect. No? The cause is pretty much related with the effect. The effect happened because of the cause. Here we have uh, ano naman to, inverted, no? This is inverted. The uh, effect comes first. It was followed by the cause. No? Okay. Um, Claude misses his flight. Why did Claude miss his flight? Because he did not arrive on time. No? And so this is the uh, this is the output of this one. Uh, this is the reason uh, because he did not arrive on time. The thing that happened next is that Claude missed his flight. Again, cause and effect is always related with each other. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you have any more uh, further question with regards to uh, cause and effect, you could always uh, send me a uh, message to our group chat and uh, even on my private messenger. And then um, you may also seek help from your uh, parents uh, and other uh, siblings, older siblings, uh, in order to uh, understand this. Again, uh, 
the cost, uh, the effect uh, is very much dependent on the cost. No? Whatever the effect is, it's because of the cost. No? And the effect uh, will always show the cost. Okay. Now let us move on and try to answer the following example or the following uh, learning activity. Learning task number two, identify the possible effects of the action portrayed by each uh, picture. Write your answer in your notebook. Again, what we are going to do here is to identify the possible effect, no? the effect. Okay. Uh, as you can see on uh, picture number one, the boy is studying. Uh, what do you think? What uh, What do you think will happen next if the boy is studying? The girl is watering the plants. Uh, what do you think will happen to the plants? Now that is the effect. Uh, here uh, is also a picture of a boy uh, putting seeds on the ground. What do you think would happen next, or what could be the uh, effect? of his activity. Number four, the boy is uh, doing some exercises. Uh, what do you think it will be the effect of his exercises or uh, of his uh, exercise to his body? Okay. So that is the cause and effect. Another learning task is Learning task number three, in your notebook, copy the sentences below, then underline the cause and encircle the effect in each item. Again, you are going to underline the cause and encircle, encircle the effect in each item. Number one, I have cavities. I do not usually brush my teeth. Number two. Due to his hard work, Roy is now a successful teacher. Number three, there was a strong typhoon causing the ship to sink. Uh, Mario is considered an obese because he eats too much. Number five, many sea creatures died due to oil spill. Okay, uh, Another tip no, in trying to find uh, if you are going to find the, uh, the effect. No? Uh, the effect usually uh, comes after the word cause or because. Or the uh, punctuation mark or separator. That is another way to uh, help you find the uh, effect. Number six, uh, my parents were late for work because my father forgot to Set the alarm. Number seven. Due to the implementation of various community quarantines, the spread of the virus is now under control. Number eight. Many employees were laid off due to economic shutdown. Number nine. Due to increase in price, the sales decrease. And number ten. Martin was promoted. He did his best to satisfy the company's demand. Now, uh, learning task number four, which is probably the last activity for today. Uh, complete each statement by supplying the appropriate cause and effect. Write the answers in your notebook. Number one. 
again the uh, ano, ano, the uh, procedure is to uh, complete the statement by writing the appropriate cause or effect you're going to do this in your notebook number one the child is sick because blank number two the ice in the freezer melted because blank number three because of global warming blank number four blank she passed the test number five blank due to air pollution okay so that's about it for today class uh, i hope you learned something about cause and effect and uh, i hope that uh, by now you will be able to identify the cause or where is the cause and where is the uh, effect in a sentence so keep practicing this uh, to master the skill and i uh, hope to see you soon in our next uh, learning journey again this is your teacher kairo waving off goodbye okay, bye bye see you next time